welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know already, today is National Donut Day. It kind of seems like there's a national day for everything, but I'm not complaining because it gives me something to make sweets for. I'm so excited about today's video because I tried out yet again another cake, which like I said in my last video, is way out of my comfort zone, but this one was just too cute. I just had to do it. You don't have to make this just for National Donut Day. You can make it for any day. If any of your friends or family loves donuts, make it for their birthday. This is such a cute idea, and I really hope that you guys like it. This is the cake that I made. It is three giant donuts sitting on top of each other, and I decided to do some really bright and vibrant colors because it is summertime. This is actually a new vanilla cake recipe that I've never tried before and it came out so good. You guys have to try this vanilla cake. So then on top is just a thick but runny type of icing and then I just topped it with some sprinkles. You guys have to make this. If you guys wanna learn how to make this cake and watch me make it, then please keep watching. So to start off our recipe, I'm just gonna mix together all of our dry ingredients starting with three cups of cake flour. Then I'm just gonna add in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking powder, and then lastly, a half teaspoon of baking soda. And I will just whisk my dry ingredients together until completely combined. Now I can start my wet ingredients. I'm gonna start with two sticks of softened butter, and I'm going to mix that on a medium speed until it's light and fluffy. Then I'm just going to add in two cups of granulated sugar to that mixture and you just want to make sure that these combine to be also very fluffy. Next I'm going to add four eggs, adding one at a time and then lastly I'm going to add two teaspoons of vanilla and I'm going to mix that all together until it's all combined. Then I can go ahead and add that initial dry ingredient. I am just going to add a little bit at a time, probably about a third of that mixture at a time, along with one cup of buttermilk. And you also want to do the buttermilk in just a couple of different stages. So just go back and forth with the dry, with the buttermilk, dry buttermilk until you're completely out. Once that's all combined, we can add our batter to our pan. So I'm just using this donut pan I found on Amazon, which I will link down below. As you can see, I'm just spraying it with cooking spray and adding some flour so that my batter doesn't stick when baking. And then you can go ahead and add your batter to that pan. I added about six scoops of my batter with an ice cream scooper and then leveled it off and patted it onto my counter so that air bubbles got out. I did three of these, so I just wanted to make sure that it was all equal and I did end up using six scoops in each. So now for the fun part, we can start our donut glaze. I'm gonna be adding two cups of powdered sugar with one teaspoon of vanilla and about six tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. Also, you wanna make sure that your vanilla is clear because if it's not, then your colors aren't gonna be very bright. I'm doing three bowls of this because I do have three cake layers. You just wanna keep adding that heavy whipping cream until it gets to a nice, runny consistency but not too runny because this is going on a cake. My first one I'm dyeing a lime green color and then my second one I'm going to be dyeing this nice blue and for my third one I had to do pink because that is your typical sprinkled pink donut and that'll be for the top. So now once your colors are done you can start putting your glaze onto your cake so I've just added one of my cakes to my cake stand and I'm adding some green glaze to my first one and you can just make it droop down the sides a little bit, clean it up where it needs to be. It does not have to be too clean, but don't make it too messy because you don't want it on the cake stand. And then I'm just adding my rainbow sprinkles all over that and the first layer is done. So now you can add your second donut cake to that and you can pick whatever colors you guys want, but this is just the three that I decided to do in that order. I just wanted to make sure the pink was on top. So I'm doing the same thing again, just drooping it a little bit down the sides with my spoon and pretty much just making it look like that standard iced donut that you would get from Dunkin Donuts or a donut shop. And if it does run a little bit too much down the sides, you can just clean that up with a paper towel or another clean spoon. And then as you can see, I'm adding my rainbow sprinkles again. You wanna make sure that you get the side of the cake because I know that can be a little bit difficult, but just kind of throw it on there from the side angle and it'll look so good.
And for my final layer, I'm just going to be adding my last cake on top of all of that, and it'll be the pretty light pink donut. So I'm doing the same exact thing, drooping it down the sides and adding my rainbow sprinkles, and I am just obsessed with this cake. It is so simple because there, you don't have to make the icing so perfect, and you just layer them on top of each other. It's fun, it's easy, and when you cut into it, it is so cute and so colorful. I think this is probably one of the cutest cakes I've ever made. I am in love with how that this turned out. I really hope that you guys try it. This is such a cute little summer cake to make and it's not hard, anyone can do it. All you need is that donut shaped pan and you are good. This is so cute, I cannot wait to eat it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget that all my ingredients will be in the description box down below and I will also link where I got my donut shaped pan. I really hope you guys have an amazing day and please come back for my next video and have an amazing National Donut Day.